All right, well, I woke up today, started my work, and got this email that you're seeing on the screen that my Reacher video was taken down from a copyright strike, which is worse than a copyright claim because three strikes can get your channel removed from YouTube. A bit frustrating because I literally don't use video clips in my stuff to avoid copyright issues. And the Reacher video, I use a five second clip that's actually been spliced. But I don't think that matters anyway. You can see the removal request was from three ants, develop and strategies SL. No clue who they are. But if you're, I'm not, I'm not making edits on this. I'm too pissed off. But if you go to YouTube and just type in three ants copyright, you can see that this is something pretty routine. Multiple people have all gotten essentially bullshit copyright strikes from this place. I don't know who they are. They're some Spanish company, as in from Spain. And their website, I can't even get to open. And it says it's an unsecure website. And their Twitter, if you look at that, has had no activity in six years. Well, a little bit over five. A little bit over five years. It's all in Spanish. No clue who they are, what they do. But you can see the video was removed. It's kind of frustrating to me because this is the second time in two months that I've had a bullshit copyright claim on a video that was doing relatively well for me. I mean, you can see 2,000 views, probably the best one of my last five videos views wise. It happened with the Daily Wire video where some, the Daily Wire Lady Ballers review, where some third party made a ridiculous claim that it was copyright. They claimed the entire video and YouTube refuses to do anything. And this is really irritating because I essentially have no recourse and my channel is so small that really no one gives a fuck. And, you know, I'm, this is a hobby for me. Like I saw this email while I was at work. But if my video is doing well and people want to see it, I would like for that not to be impeded with bullshit. Like the Daily Wire video I did had 2,200 views and I had gotten 60 comments within like a two hour stretch, about 14 hours after I put it out because I put it out at midnight and then I got copyright claimed. Bullshit copyright claim. They knew it was bullshit. They released it about 24 hours later and the video's gotten like 200 views since then. So the copyright strikes directly can threaten your channel, but also it destroys you as far as viewership. Obviously, if you have a big channel, you know, you're someone like Critical Drinker or Nerd Rotic or whoever these, you know, Mauler, these guys with hundreds of thousands of, of subscribers and all that, the algorithm might hurt them a little bit, but their stuff is still gonna be viewed by the people that want to view it. I, mean, I don't even subscribe to any of those guys, but I watch all their videos. I, so people are going to find their stuff. But for me, if I essentially get booted from the algorithm like this, I have no chance of getting any views, <laughs> which is a little bit irritating because you know, I take the time to do it and I would like people who want to see it be able to see it. So I don't, and it's really abusive of the system. I guess YouTube is just doesn't want to be involved in any kind of legal shit, which on one hand I understand, but on the other, you know, trying to get any traction on YouTube is already a pretty big task unless you're super fortunate or connected. I mean, at this point, I don't know how many videos I've made, probably a couple hundred, I would guess. And I'm at like 340 subscribers, most of that, which is in like, like the last six months. And this copyright strike lasts 90 days. And according to this guy, Cirrus, I'm not sure if that's how you say his name right here. Uh, the second one. Cirrus, I'm assuming. I think his full name is Cirrus the Skeptic or something. And um, he was saying that like all your stuff gets down, like, downplayed in the algorithm, your views go down, and all that shit happens when you get a copyright strike for the entire 90 days until it's gone. So the only other recourse, unfortunately, is 
to dispute it. So that's what I did. Let's see if I can find the email here. I guess they don't show. Me, they don't give me an email saying that I disputed it. Okay, well, whatever. So I disputed it. They have ten days to respond, proving that they've filed a lawsuit against me. My guess is that there's like a ninety-nine percent chance that the ten days just run out. I've already sent them an email asking them to remove the strike. It could just be a bot. I have no idea. I, and then. After that 10 days, if they haven't proven that they've filed a lawsuit against me, the video will be put back up and they say restored. But, you know, it got whatever, what was that? 2,200 views in four days. Sorry, 2,000 views in four days. And there was probably, I don't know, 30, 40 comments on here. But once it comes back, it won't get any more views. Partially because of the timing. Right, I released it the day after the Reacher finale came out. And then partially because it's going to get shit on the algorithm. So after two weeks, the video will be dead now. So I'm, I'm going to put the link to the, to the video in Rumble. I re-uploaded it there because this claim is complete bullshit, so whatever. And, you know... I'm not really sure what else to say about it. It seems like a really shitty system. And I wish that YouTube, I like their automated copyright system because it tells you when you upload something, like these parts are flagged for copyright. So you can go in, edit them, put a watermark over the video, whatever you need to do. I don't use video very often, so it doesn't happen to me a lot. Sometimes it happens with trailers. Or if you use music, obviously, I've heard that is like annoying as shit to get through, but I never use music to avoid all this stuff. So it's really frustrating. Um, I guess in the meantime, I'll just be, I'll just keep making videos. It would be nice if someone with a bigger channel could draw attention to this. But from what I'm seeing, like this guy, I don't know who he is. I just saw his video. This is from two months ago, same thing. And he talks in here about how they're, essentially frauds who just abuse the system that YouTube has and they only go after small channels. And that's what these other videos talked about also. Because I clicked a couple of them just to see what people were saying. That they target small channels because most likely they're not going to have the resources or the platform to really get attention to it in a way that, you know, could actually affect anything. And it's frustrating to me that if YouTube wants to keep this system in place, I feel like if you get through the automated thing and people file bullshit copyright claims, like YouTube presumably has the staff to watch videos and say, okay, this copyright claim is ridiculous. Like that person or company or whatever should have all of their claims flagged to where they can't just take down shit right away. I mean, I don't, I have no idea why they did it. I mean, for all I know, Amazon hired them and said, hey, make sure that our shit gets no bad attention on social media. And then, then they just go flag every negative Reacher review. I have no clue. But, you know, they're not, they're not going to go after somebody like Critical Drinker or, you know, Star Wars Theory or Mauler or somebody who can say on Twitter, hey, this company is going after me. And they can just tag YouTube, tag the company, and people will be outraged. They go after, after really small channels. Even that guy, Sirius, whose channel is bigger than mine, he has... He has like 55,000 subscribers now. I think his video is from three months ago. So I'm assuming he was similar then. Probably mid 40s or something. High 40s. I don't know how fast he's growing or whatever. But. Yeah, so they, this guy talks in here. This guy, Epic Jason. About all the bullshit and how. They, essentially, this company has nothing to do with any of the stuff in his video. So it's clearly a false claim. And then he has all this stuff in here where he talks about it. He's made a bunch of comments. Yeah, it's, it's just frustrating because YouTube is difficult enough to get any traction. And then when you have shit like this going on where, you know, for me, 2,000 views in a couple of days is good. So like my last couple of videos that were like that, well, not, I 
Let's see, Reacher. Um, Rebel Moon didn't get hit. Yeah, so like my last, my last couple of views, my, my last couple of videos that hit two thousand quickly for me, were both copyright struck by third parties on just complete bullshit. So like, it almost makes it impossible for smaller channels to grow. Well, I mean, it really does because if you can't have a channel, you can't put up videos, you don't show up in the algorithm, you have no chance of any kind of growth. Like, essentially, if you're a channel like mine where you have no connections and you're small unless you get lucky and go viral all you can do is put stuff out when it's relevant like the reacher finale came out thursday night i put my video up friday afternoon and that's the best i can do is to try to make decent stuff quickly and then when i you know when one of it so when some of it hits the algorithm it gets a little bit of views and comments and then all of a sudden it's yanked it's fucking irritating. So yeah, um, hopefully this will be resolved. Well, ideally they would just remove the strike tomorrow, but most likely my guess is that 10 days from now, so two weeks, it is 10 business days, I'll just get an email saying, hey, your video's back up and I can just move on. But it's really frustrating. I guess if someone does watch this and you want to do anything, I don't know. Give it a shout out. Maybe share it with larger channels who don't have to deal with this shit, but like to see smaller channels grow. I don't know. I'm not sure what can really be done when there's just blatant abuse of the system and YouTube is just hands off saying, well, good luck. If you really care, you can get lawyers, I guess. As if I'm making fucking money from this. I don't want to keep rambling on though. This is already a 12 and a half minute video. I'm not fucking editing. So yeah, I'll try to keep putting videos up and I guess as long as I'm under this copyright strike, if you know, you think someone that you know would like the video, maybe you can share it with them or whatever, since I'm assuming I won't be getting into the algorithm anytime soon. And now you can hear how bad a lot of my fucking first takes are before I edit. <laughs> All right. Well, Thanks. See, I'll try to get some videos up. And uh, yeah, this is super irritating. So, see ya.